Welcome back. So this is a little update on my Ender 3 project um, and this is just about complete. So I completed the hot end assembly and that's actually been running now for about 600 hours or so. And, and, uh, gone through several revisions and that's working pretty good. And as you can see I've built this into an enclosure. So the electronics are actually beneath that and above what I have down here. So this is a heated chamber for the filament down there. I don't really have anything <laughs> uh, set up for the spool holder and whatnot, but I'm able to keep all the uh, real sensitive materials down here in a heated chamber. And uh, this gets to about 50, a little bit over 50 degrees Celsius inside of here if you let it heat for long enough. Uh, this hot plate down there is only about 150 watts, so not very much. Um, but it works pretty good. And what I'm printing right now is a replacement uh, for this guy right here. And, and what that is, was uh, a little pusher plate that goes on to the two holes that are left right there and there. And so when, when the plate cools down enough, it'll actually delaminate from this printing surface and you can push it off with that little uh, pusher thing there. So you can just print one after another. So the filament I'm currently running on this printer is polycarbonate, so PC Max. And in the past, I really have not been able to successfully print that, but I've been able to do that quite well ever since I got the enclosure. And the maximum temperature with the new lining uh, uh, tube here is up to 290 degrees Celsius. I wouldn't really run it more than that. The thermistor is really not rated. So it's not really that accurate at that temperature, but it works. And uh, the hot plate, I've been able to get that about as hot as 120. Haven't really tried to push beyond that. No real need to go that hot unless you're running a material, which I can't really print anyhow. So this printer works well for what it's intended for, which is up through polycarbonate. So one example of a part that I've been able to make here out of polycarbonate is these little stands for the power supply. They don't need to be made out of polycarbonate, but you know, I was just testing it, seeing how it would work, and as you can see, yeah, it does a really good job. So there you have it. Files will be uploaded pretty soon, so you can go ahead and just build this thing if you want it, and push your plate as well, and then a lot more videos will be following that as far as all the different other modifications you will need to do to the, the motherboard to get it up and running and a lot of the process tuning I've had to do in order to get really good prints at higher temperatures and uh, to make things print one after another. So thanks for watching guys, stay awesome, peace, and I'll see you again next time. Okay, so this is the part after it was printed off. You can see the support structure here, and there's some fun little tricks I'm doing there to make that stick well with polycarbonate and ABS and should just be able to break off. Yeah. So that was pretty harmless, and I think it came out really good. It's nice to be able to do polycarbonate now. <laughs>